Hi guys and girls. People are having issues with No Man's Skies in the performance area. So the first thing I want to do is help you get your game running a bit better. So make sure your game is off completely and then go to your installation folder of No Man's Skies. For example, if it's on Steam, normally it's program files, the 86 version, Steam, Steam apps, common, the No Man's Skies, Skies, I don't know why I said Skies. Go to your game data. There's this shader cache folder. You can safely shift delete this. I recommend shift delete because if you hit delete, it'll go to your recycling bin, it'll take longer. Sometimes it has a lot of files in it. Delete it. This gets generated when the game loads. So when you load up the game and go in the world now, it might take a little longer than it did previously because it's regenerating those. Sometimes they can get corrupted and uh, cause actual FPS drops. I made a video about this a long time ago. Um, the other thing you can do is go to PC Banks, and I have mo modding done on mine. This is a folder that or a file that doesn't exist. Usually you don't have this, but if you have uh, any mods enabled, they might be causing a problem. So maybe delete them as well and create a file called disable. Uh, mods.txt without the exclamation mark in caps exactly what you see there that will also force the mods to be disabled just in case if you are uh, modding or have really old mods that you might have added a long time ago and forgot about it as well as nuke your mod folder when you start your game it should tell you notice that uh, you're modding and you know you're doing it wrong uh, the other tip I would recommend is go back to your no man's skies folder go to your I believe it's binaries and settings yes there you go so binaries and settings there is a graphic setting uh, file here now this graphic settings file offers a lot of information first of all what you could do is nuke the graphic settings file then launch the game and see if it helps of course your settings will be reset but there might have been an old uh, setting or config that could have caused some issues in the past that might have uh, caused some problems but after all that if it doesn't fix it what you could do is you can open it up and change some uh, settings on here the biggest setting I'm gonna recommend right here to change is right here number of high threads and number of low threads so if you right click your uh, taskbar down here and you hit task manager you should be able to pop up your uh, task manager here now you might need to right click or whatever and show information but what we're going to look for is logical processors and log uh, and cores so you got four cores and eight logical processors so what i like to do is set the number of low threads to four that's the amount of cores and the number of high threads to eight. That's the amount of uh, logical processors or hyper threading in this case. Um, save this file, then launch No Man's Skies and see if that helps you guys uh, fix up some of your performance issues. Outside of that, uh, you might want to try things like uh, borderless mode on, full screen mode only on, things like that. You'll have to play with your settings. Uh, things like shadows will cause a lot of uh, usage. Uh, texture detail, uh, I know in a lot of games it doesn't really make a big difference, but if you don't have a lot of video RAM, uh, ultra, for example, texture detail would be very, very heavy on your video RAM and would cause weird shuttering and lag and things like that as well uh, outside of that you can go to your ati and nvidia settings make sure that you're running max performance uh, for nvidia you can go to right click and control panel here and uh, it takes a second for it to load uh, here you go and you go to your manage 3d settings and you can do by program or all I actually have by program for no man's skies I actually have custom settings so I turn off my vsync and everything in game I locked it to 60 FPS if I leave it on limited FPS in game it kind of bottlenecks the GPU and it's not something good but you can see one of the ones I would recommend is make sure prefer maximum performance is on you want that to uh, be existing and running because if not uh, basically right away it means that uh, it might not be uh, trying its hardest to make sure everything's running um, I have shader cache on I have triple buffering and I have vertical sync on adaptive these are settings I use directly on the no man skies exe of course uh, uh, in here you'll notice if we can see vsync here is off you want to make sure g-sync is off unless if you have one of those fancy monitors as well but might be worth turning it off through here as well um but besides that, I think that's pretty good. Uh, when you're running the process, 
Uh, I have OBS here, for example. Uh, so you can see that there's some video encoding, etc. Uh, you can turn on these settings by going through resource values, whatnot. But if you go to performance, you should have a GPU here. Basically, if this is not at least hitting 50%, you know something's wrong. You, you're basically not hitting your 3D GPU. Uh, for you guys with laptops and stuff uh, or multiple videos uh, cards, you know, like onboard and then external, you might be uh, needing to look at some adjustments there you want to make sure that no man's skies is using the gpu but uh i can't give you all the answers in the world of course because there's a lot of debugging and tricks and things like that but hopefully these are just some basics to get you started honestly the shaders cache file is one of the biggest then maybe restoring your uh you know your graphic settings by deleting them and then starting fresh might not be a bad idea and uh, if you've ever used mods in the past, uh, making sure you've deleted an extra uh, might be uh, something you want to consider. Uh, don't worry if my folder looks a bit different than you. I have some other things that I've tried and played around with. Just ignore that. But anyways, I hope that helped you guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and hope you enjoy No Man's Skies next. Have a good day. Bye.